COVID-19 has been around for at least a year now and has been known to be a life-changing event. But how exactly? How much do we know about this virus? This is not the first time we had this kind of outbreak caused by coronavirus. An example of this is the SARS outbreak, which happened between 2002 and 2004. Despite being caused by the same virus, the difference between them is that COVID-19 spreads more easily and often causes mild symptoms as stated by Healthline. So what exactly is COVID-19? COVID-19 is a highly contagious disease caused by virus SARS-CoV-2 with a total of more than 100 million recorded cases all over the world. The word COVID is derived from words coronavirus and disease and the number 19 comes from the year it was discovered which was 2019. The disease was first documented in Wuhan, Hubei Province, China in 2019. According to NBC News, the COVID-19, which first affected the people in China, is thought to have passed from animals to humans, most likely from bats. Some of its common symptoms are fever, dry cough, nausea, fatigue, and difficulty in breathing. Negligence causes negative impact, not only on one's health, but to the community as well, which is why we follow strict health protocols. As stated earlier, this virus spreads so easily that it only takes at least three days for the number of infected people to reach about 1 million. This spreads easily because it can be transmitted from one person to another via droplets produced by infected people, often during sneezing and coughing. According to the data of CNN, the numbers of currently infected people have already reached about 25 million within the span of more than a year. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure which is why we should keep an eye out for the health of the majority. Health protocols should be strictly implemented and followed. Some of the ways to prevent the disease are to maintain social distancing, frequent and proper use of face masks and face shields, maintaining a good hygiene by proper hand washing and sanitizing, <laughs> implementing coughing and sneezing etiquette. We should also avoid someone who is sick. And we should also limit ourselves from social gatherings and crowded places. Moreover, not only does this disease impact the majority's health, but the economy of countries as well. Philippines is currently facing one of its hardest times, experiencing a crisis due to the pandemic, inadequate frontliners, and insufficient personal protective equipment. In addition, the country is buried in debt, which makes it harder to overcome the critical With lack of funds to support the health sector, it would take longer for the virus to subside. Fear and obscurity causes nothing but havoc. Ignorance is not the bliss. The best cure is to be informative and knowledgeable. We do not know what is in store for us in the future, but rest assured, this pandemic will come to an end, not now. As long as there is hope and perseverance, anything is possible. As they say, after every storm comes a rainbow.